Hey YouTube, got another knife review for you today. This is the SOG Fielder XL. And this is a budget knife, which is good. It's between $20 and $30. It's a very big knife for the price. Now, I am wearing the gloves because it has polished nickel silver bolsters, right? And a mirror polished blade. Okay, and these, you know, this thing picks up fingerprints uh, better than the FBI, so. Uh, trust me, the gloves are a good idea. It is a single thumb stud opener. See the cutout there, All right? And the blade, that an extremely impressive blade. All right, and you see, there's such a mirror finish. It, it's hard to show the blade because it's actually just showing you the my Sony camera there. So, here, there. Let me just try to get it to not reflect on anything. Um, there, it's showing some lights. Yeah, mirror polished. The blade length is around uh, 4.5 inches, so a very substantial blade length on this. All right, and you can see the handles. Uh, the handle scales wood with two pins. Right, liner lock mechanism with jimping on the liner. Obviously, uh, you know it has full steel liners. And overall, an extremely attractive knife for the twenty to thirty dollar price. There was no play on mine. Um, secure lockup. I have heard complaints from some people on these because it is a, a cheaper knife, but the the one I got uh, has no problems. All right, there you go. And I'm trying again. I'm trying to show you the blade without just showing you reflections of random stuff. All right, the um, it is a partial hollow grind. You see, you see the lights in the ceiling fan there. A partial hollow grind, extremely sharp. Right, and this is a big knife for for little price. And it's it's more of a traditional design, which is cool. A little less threatening. Kind of just looks like something a hunter or a, a camper or rancher might have, just on his belt as a tool. All right, so. It's a very interesting blade. Let's let's cut a little bit of something. I mean that's uh, that's great performance. I mean for a knife that's about twenty five dollars. I mean, right, and I'm not sure I'm not sure what the steel is on this. Um, it's obviously, you know, very inexpensive, a very inexpensive uh, stainless steel. Uh, however, you, you saw how it cuts right out of the box. And I like the belly, you know, I like the tip design, how it sweeps back a bit, gives you an ample amount of belly. And overall, I mean, I'm very pleased with a knife for around $25. I think it's, it's, I think it's a great value. And I, as I said, it is a very large knife. And it's, it's hard to get knives in this size range. Um, it's listed as four and a half inches. If you measure from way down, there it is. If you measure from the midpoint, you know, it's a little bit less than four and a half inches. But look, <laughs> look how, this is my Nim, uh, Nim Cub, my Benchmade Nim Cub. You know, look, look how much bigger the folder is than the, the little Nim Cub. You know, it kind of just dwarfs it. All right, in fact, Here's my here's a, a, a seven inch K bar clip point, and then look. Uh, this is a budget knife too, about forty dollars. This would make a real nice kind of gift set, you know, for that uncle or you know granddad for Christmas. A folder and fixed blade, you know, they're both budget items, but I mean, as as far as a outdoorsman, casual hunt, casual hunter, camper type thing. Very nice, but look how look how big it is, even compared to the seven inch blade K bar. So definitely, you know, it's a lot of knife for the money. All right, YouTube, there you have it, the SOG Fielder. You know, I'm not going to go into huge detail because it's a budget knife. It's not the type of thing that you know some collector is going to obsess over for hours. Pretty much. Either you have the twenty or thirty dollars, or you don't, and either you need a large folder or you don't. I just want to give a heads up, especially with with uh, Christmas coming up. I mean, this would make an excellent gift for just your casual outdoorsman. Very nice overall. 
shout out to 329 I saw his review of the smaller size one of these and that's what prompted me to try it out so thanks bro I hope you enjoyed this knife review and found it useful to you stay tuned for many more I am out of here dudes